VS Code is one of those tools that it's really easy to just pick up and start using. Uh, the more and more you live with it, the more important it will become to gain a level of mastery over it and, and understand what's happening and how you can set up those things in your favor. I ran across this application that I wanted to show. I noticed the problem with it immediately. And normally that's that's kind of the end of it. But then when I started trying some of the other extensions, the problem persisted. <laughs> so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show this problem and I wanted to show the solution. Let's take a look here. Um, I have these three tasks. They build my website, kjmiller.com. Uh, one just builds the site for me to check the output of one actually builds the site and runs the server and one just updates dependencies. I have these three tasks, but we see build site, run server, update dependencies. And we also see this build package and publish. Uh, that build package and publish, if you notice user here, that's a user task. That's what I use to make sure that I can quickly uh, build and publish Python packages that I have across all of the projects that I'm working on. I can talk about how to set that up in a different video. So I have these, these three here, but sometimes I forget about that. And sometimes if I'm in mousey mode, I want to just click go over here, find the task and run it. And there isn't really a way to do that here, but there is an extension called task explorer. And there are plenty of these task runner, task explorer, all of these, Task Runner Plus, I don't understand what the plus is, but cool. Um, and they all basically do the same thing. They give you the ability to run tasks in from the side panel. So Task Explorer creates two things. One, it creates this little Task Explorer thing here by default. I've been playing around with this already, so there, I have a setting on here that I shouldn't have now i gotta find the the setting um all right so there's a lot of little options here but the one that we wanted to find really quick was do, 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 enable sidebar by default that's turned off um if you don't like having things in your sidebar here um you can leave it off and then you can just access it in task explorer down here i personally don't like that so yeah i checked the box and just have it on the side. Okay, so when we look at it this way, we have uh, that user task up at the top, the VS Code user task here. Um, I've actually marked that as a favorite, which is why it pops up at the top. We have, it's looked and found bash scripts or shell scripts that I have, my AZ build shell script. And then we have some dev container stuff that has just, hey, whenever you load your dev container up, do pip uh, install upgrade and then install your requirements. So these are, these are all standard, but the nice thing about this is these were auto detected. These were found. So these weren't in that, you know, run task. These weren't here, which is great. They might be down in, in here somewhere, but we're, we're not wanting to hunt for all that. We can just look at it, click it here. That's pretty cool. Actually, um, VS code build site, run server, update dependencies. These are the three that we made already, but I skipped over Python. If we go into Python, this is what bothered me a little bit about this extension to begin with. Th th this is a lot. Um, what it's done is it's gone and it's looked for each of the .python files inside of my project. And since we have a virtual environment and we have a bunch of packages installed, it's gone and it's found all the Python files in, the, in those packages. Like what we do need is just these. These are the, the scripts that I have for my site. It would be nice to expose those without exposing all of these virtual environments. Let's open up our settings again. And then let's go to Task Explorer. And what we should see is this Task Explorer exclude. Now, this is... This is a good start. This should eliminate a lot of tasks already. And we can just add one more. Now, I've been thinking about how I want to set this up. 
virtual environments use this like dot v and v and i could just do you know similar to what they're doing dot v and v star star like that and that would work in my case we hit okay now we go to our task explorer again and they're eliminated again if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you aren't yet please subscribe i'll talk to you later see ya